Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul. If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, go ahead and feel free to post a nice comment below if what we talked about resonates or if you have any questions for us. Today I want to talk about releasing the pain in a twin flame connection. Learning how to work through triggers and release the stored energies is one of the hardest and most painful parts of ascending in a twin flame journey. But this journey is what started your awakening and you're faced with one of two choices, sit in unfathomable pain or face what needs to be released and start working through those emotions, maybe their memories, the feelings that you have that you have suppressed for so many years. For me, the deep-rooted issues that really lay at the bottom of all of my triggers was fear of abandonment and feelings that I was not good enough to be loved. I got triggered with feelings of jealousy, insecurities, and a lot of feelings that I needed to control my other self. Before meeting my person, I used to deal with stressors by eating when I was upset. I would stuff my emotions back down the minute they started to surface rather than dealing with them. And I noticed my eating would actually increase around certain individuals. I was so triggered by their energy and I didn't know how to set boundaries for myself. So rather than addressing what bothered me, I would just start eating and focus on that pleasure rather than the pain of what I was experiencing. There was a lot of comparisons of my sister and myself when I was growing up. So I was always trying to keep up with her and no matter how hard I tried to be the perfect daughter, I never felt like I was worthy or that I measured up. I was never her. So there was this long-standing emotional residue that had been stuffed way down deep inside me, telling me that I wasn't enough and that no matter what, I'd never be enough. That was my mind always trying to take on the comparisons of my parents and make them my own. I was using my parents as my measuring tool and I always fell short based on interactions with them. And then I met my person and he saw me and he loved me just for me. Being around him, I was talked to in a way that I had never been before. He talked to me with such pure love and affection. It was so genuine and I, I didn't I didn't know how to internalize it. There was no judgments, no comparisons, no measuring up. I was perfect as is, but <laughs> the, the problem with this was I was not used to this, so my mind thought I was being tricked. My mind didn't understand that someone could love me, and I was so petrified of someone hurting me that I loved so deeply that my mind just started creating stories on why it couldn't be possible that he really did love me and the addictive energy wouldn't let me just enjoy the present moment it was consistently caught up in the fear of him leaving and jealousy that i wasn't good enough that there would be someone better that would come along and after separation i like so many of you i was in excruciating pain and that doesn't even begin to describe it and i had those same two choices suffer or work through the pain and figuring out how to love myself and allow myself to experience happiness that I created and couldn't be taken away from me was the choice that I really wanted to do. I wanted to learn how to look in the mirror and know just from my own vantage point that I was good enough, no matter how my family members saw me. I couldn't handle the pain that I was experiencing, so I knew I needed to go inward and start to work through what I put off my entire life, and that was stuffing down my emotions. I saw this quote in this historical fiction novel that I was reading, but it fits so well with what we all go through on this journey that I really wanted to include it and discuss it. The quote is by Rob Edmonds. It says, Pain is weakness leaving the body. Take it, revel in it, and know that you are forged stronger by it. When it says pain is weakness leaving the body, I look at that as the pain in the form of repressed energies. Those emotions and feelings that have been stuffed so far down and never dealt with. 
When you work through your triggers and start really uprooting those triggers from the ground, you'll experience pain. You will. But it is the weakness of the mind energies that are being released. So the pain will be momentarily. It's not going to be forever, but it needs to be uprooted and released for you to start feeling better. And even though it hurts, those are things that need to be removed or shed in order to ascend in your journey, to come closer to your truest and most authentic self, which is your soul. Because remember, soul doesn't keep memories. It just is. It's just the present moment. It is the mind that holds on to these stored memories, these stored emotions, and constantly brings them back up to create these fears within us. Take it, revel in it, and know that you are forged stronger by it. I know without a doubt, because I work through and am still working through so many issues stemming from childhood, that I am now a stronger person for it. I do revel in it because I'm so proud of myself that I've released things that have never served me. I've let go of limiting beliefs about myself. And because I've done this inner work, I finally know what it feels like to give myself unconditional love, something I'd never experienced before. This last year has been the first time in my life that I no longer would seek out approval from my parents. Their opinions are now irrelevant to me. It's not that I don't love them or anything of that sort, but I don't judge myself anymore based on their judgments. Whether I make them proud or disappoint them, it doesn't matter to me anymore. Those are their thoughts. Those are their mind thoughts. They're not mine. Those are not my stories anymore. I have released those stories. I don't like feeling pain. Who does? But it is part of this journey, but it is not permanent. I see it for what it is. It becomes like a superficial unlayering. Things that should have never been stuck inside us in the first place are being pulled out of us and those emotions hurt coming out. Just like they hurt us experiencing them for the first initial time. But these are the moments that bring us peace. Releasing them brings us peace because they're no longer there to haunt us, to torment us. We can align with soul, which is peace, love, and joy. Through soul, when you keep ascending, you will find that you're going to experience peace that's unlike anything you felt prior to your awakening. It's a love of self. It's unconditional and it's infinite. So yes, there's pain, but what is there after the pain? There is a peace and joy and love unlike anything you have known before. And it's consistent. It's always there for you. It's not fleeting. The pain is fleeting. The pain is something that's worked through. But what you have on the other side, you know how to consistently align with soul through this journey. And you know how to consistently make yourself feel better. You don't ever have to look externally again to find what you already are, which is peace, love, and joy, which is soul. I hope this message has resonated and helped. Love you guys.